Hello everybody and welcome to this week's uh, episode of Paul Mash TV. This is the, uh, the video version of uh, Paul Mash Radio. And uh, we're proud to uh, bring you another episode. Uh, this week we have uh, Phoebe Pinnock of uh, Heaven the Axe. And we'll be presenting to that uh, to you uh, in just a moment. But first I just want to let you know just last week when we showed you a special edition of Paul Mash TV, uh, we highlighted uh, an artist by the name of uh, Noah Hunton. And uh, since my interview, uh, he's been really getting noticed a lot. And um, so it really goes to show that networking can really help uh, people, especially, uh, you know, people who are just up and coming like he was. So we really wish uh, Noah Hunton the best of luck in his career. And uh, just wanted to let you know that we have a show every other week as far as the radio goes. So Paul Mash TV will be back uh, two weeks from today. And my uh, interview on the radio as well as here, it'll be uh, Paulina of Basic Desire. So that'll be my next interview. It's a brand new one we just shot a few weeks ago. And I think you're going to like it. So uh, be sure to stay tuned in a couple weeks for that interview. For right now, let's go to uh, Phoebe Pinnock. Uh, and we'll do that right now. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's interview. And from uh, Heaven the Axe, we have Phoebe Pinnock. How are you doing, Phoebe? <laughs> good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Glad you could stop by and talk with us some, uh, a little bit this uh, today. Um, Thank you. I guess the first question I want to ask is, uh, how did music begin for you? I mean, has it, has it always been a passion for you? Oh, yeah, definitely. As long as I can remember. I do remember being very little and, and, and watching some kids performing and thinking that is what I'm going to do and, and have been performing since I was little. So um, it's something that I guess I, I do because I, it just makes me want to be a better person, really, on the inside and, and also just entertain and scream about things that, you know, put a spotlight on something. So it, it's really, it's great. I love it. I totally got into metal growing up in Wagga Wagga in New South Wales, which was an epic metal scene when I was younger and, and all the guys were really sexy, so I just <laughs> wanted to wanted to play metal. That's, that's good. Um, uh, 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 let me ask you something. What are, what are your influences as far as uh, bands go? I mean, is that, does it just, uh, is it just, oh is it just strictly metal or do you have other... You know, a genre that you listen yeah. to as well? Oh, no, I listen to all sorts of music. Um, at the moment, I'm listening to this CD called Hot Man Venom by a band called Mustang, which is the best CD I have ever heard. It is that good. They're a Melbourne or Australian band. They're just so good. Like, you have to download it on iTunes. It'll be impossible to find, so you have to look up Hot Man Venom. Oh, okay. I might, I might check them out sometime. Uh, uh, thanks for the recommendation, by the way. So. <laughs> Do it, awesome. Um, now, now I think you've had albums out before, right? I mean, uh, or are you currently doing an album? Maybe you could let us know about your albums. Yeah, we're we well, we're writing at the moment. We've had a few like uh, setbacks, so we've had to sort of take take a bit of time to think about how we're going to move ahead and now it's all moving ahead. We've got a single coming out but it's a bit different to our normal stuff because it's written for a TV show and so it's a bit like it's, you know, written specifically for a topic but it, it's the most rudest, hilarious, like totally crazy TV show that Australian TV will ever see and <laughs> we just... We don't know what anyone is going to think about it. We don't care because it's so uh, just crazy. And it's called Bogan Hunters. So mm. I'll be excited to see what everyone thinks of it because it's so funny and random. Oh, okay. And now is this your only album? But you had albums on. We, we released a record, uh, which is eight tracks in uh, 2012. Okay. So it's been a little while out now and um it it's you know we've we've achieved some amazing things just from that one release which has been so beautiful and we just love hearing from you know our friends around the world such as yourself Ben and it it yeah we we're just 
um, I write a lot of the songs with Steve and then we work with the band, you know, to work them up and we've had lots of different lineup changes and people coming and going. Um, so it's been challenging having to keep relearning the same set, but now we've just gone, no, that is it. You know, we, we just want to move ahead on new songs because we've played those songs a million times and just I just can't wait to perform the new songs because I'm a different person now than who I was back then. I've just got so much more to say. And, and as far as your music goes, you can go to the usual places to download them, right? Like iTunes, Amazon, stuff like that? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, and what's the name of the new album that you're coming out with again? Oh, no, it's a new single Let's that's see. coming out. Yeah. It's called Broken Hunters. It's written about, uh, you know, there's an Australian subculture that's, I guess it's, you know, viewed as the word bogan, which kind of means just crazy, you know, you probably drink, you probably smoke bongs, you probably, or you don't, or, you know, you could be rich, you could be poor, but you're just like, fuck yeah, when it comes to living life. And um, you don't give a shit what anyone thinks of you, so it's it's going to be hilarious, the, the song and the TV show. It's um it's made with the same people that made the TV show How's Eyes, and they just won a Logie. They took out the voice the other day. So that was really exciting because they worked so hard. Okay. Well, I think that's about uh, all we really need. If you ever have something new to promote in the future, just uh, you know, talk to you. maybe we'll have you back on the show sometime. Thanks, thanks Ben. Uh, Paul, actually. <laughs> oh, shit. Is your name's Paul? Yeah. <laughs> Why is it called Ben? <laughs> Well, that that was the name of the show I was on, Ben TV, but I'm Paul. I'm on Ben TV, but yeah. Paul! <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, oh, any, well. Anyway, um, we appreciate you taking your time, and like I said, just contest if you have anything new you want to plug. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Yeah, you're welcome. And uh, we'll be right back. In light of their extensive connection to the underworld, the prosecution cautions that the defendants represent a serious flight risk. And given the callous nature of the crime, the state requests that bail be denied you. I object, Your Honour.